This video is about some more examples on groups. We start with this one. For a fixed point um, AB in R2, we define the transformation of AB, so this T will stand for the transformation, transformation of AB, a transformation from R2 to R2, the transformation will, will transform x in x plus a and y in y plus b. Okay, so this will be the transformation. Then the transformation of R2 is the set transformation of AB such that AB are in the reals. So this set with the, the operation function uh, with the operation f um, function composition is a a group okay so it will be I can say so this will be a yes a this set with function composition right this is a group uh, it's very easy to check that the, the transformation of R2 uh, is closed for the operation. This is very easy. So now we need, the, um, then you will check associativity. It will, you can check, it's not hard. Uh, we need an identity. What will the identity here? Be, the identity will be the transformation of 0, 0, right? Yes, that will be the, the, the identity. And we need an inverse. So the inverse of AB will be, the inverse will be transformation of minus A minus B. That will be the, the transformation. The, the, the inverse okay further you can check that this uh, transformation uh, is a billion not hard to, to, to check so um, and you know probably from analysis or from even from calculus lessons you must know that function composition is always uh, associative so the the elements of uh, this transformation of R2 are called uh, translations. I'll get back to to this when we get into uh, geometry and stuff like that. Another example of a group is the set of full 2x2 two two matrices. So, uh, matrix of 2x2 two two dimension matrices with non zero determinant and entries and in. So, the determinant of matrix A will be non zero. Now, in the entries, I'm not going to put only the reals. I'm going to put any z p where p is a prime entries uh, in the rational numbers and entries in the complex numbers. Okay, so this set I'm going to call it M. Okay, two by two matrices. Under the usual um, matrix multiplication, this is a group too. Uh, uh, the only difference here is the the entries. Okay, the entries are from ZP, where P is a prime, from the rational numbers and the complex numbers. Okay, so if you add or multiply the entries you have to add and multiply in ZP 
in the rational and the complex numbers respectively okay um, okay I'm going to give an, an ex a quick example here um, so for instance imagine your uh, your entries are in z5 because 5 is a prime number right so do not forget that addition will be modulus 5 and multiplication will be also module uh, module 5 so for instance uh, the, the the very first um, row with the very first column will be 3 times 3 right plus 2 times 1 so 3 times 3 this will be modulus 5 and 2 times 1 will be modulus 5 so 3 times 3 module 5 will be 4 and 2 times 1 module 5 will be 2 so 4 plus module 5 2 will be 1 okay so the answer is 1 first entry 1 okay now you can do all the others and check that this is the the result okay thus the two matrices on the left uh, you see you got the identity here right uh, well you have to check that this is the identity but I'm telling you yes this is the identity so since you got the identity um, these matrices they are uh, each other uh, inverse okay another example is the set of full two by two matrices with determinant one okay so we have matrices dimension two by two where the determinant of matrix a any matrix will be one all matrix will have determinant one with entries from the rationals the reals the complex numbers or any uh, z prime is a non-abelian group under matrix multiplication okay so it will be uh, this set under the usual matrix multiplication this is a, a quick way to write okay uh, this group is called a special linear group okay we write special linear group of n entries in this case two forms a special linear group with entries in the real numbers this is very common this one is is uh, denoted this way special linear n by n special linear group of n by n with entries in r in the reals for us in our case would be the special linear group of two by two with entries in the reals okay special linear group of two by two matrices over the rationals the reals the complex number or any zp if the entries are from any field where uh, f is any of the, the above we denote this group by scl to f so this is a this is um this is a notation okay but I always prefer this notation for some odd reason. Okay, so this is the special linear group, and we will see the the geometric implications of this group in, a, in another video. Okay, I want to finish this chapter of groups with this table. Um, I think that's a good idea to to have a, a general view of some groups so I don't know if I already told about uh, in the videos if I introduced the concept of uh, an abelian group um, a billion group we say a group G is a billion if its binary operation is commutative. Okay. Okay. Now I would like to leave this table 
we have here we have the set the integers the operation will be addition so the, the usual addition for the addition the identity will be zero the element will have this form k of course the inverse will be minus k is it a billion yes it is because the the binary operation is commutative addition is a, um, a commutative um, operation because um, a plus b equals b plus a okay then we have the positive rational numbers under multiplication the identity is one so the elements will be in this form m over n and the inverse will be n over m and this one is also a billion you can check this is zn addition module n the elements will be k the inverse will be n minus k module n do not forget that and it is a billion too we have um, this one we did not see this one we'll see this one later okay this is the general linear group of two by two matrices with entries in R that's the identity all the elements will be like this since this is the, the general linear group the, the determinant will not be zero this is the the inverse matrix okay and this is not a, a, this is not a billion this group is not a billion you can check that it's, it's very easy uh, we will speak about this ones uh, another video too this one is the in a space uh, rn this one is the component wise addition okay where you add the components one by one the identity will be zero 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 and zeros of course according to the space where you are the rn this will be the inverse and it is a, a billion too uh, this one is the general linear group right and this one is the special linear group of two by two matrices with entries in r it's matrix multi under matrix multiplication it's the operation this is the identity this is its form in a special linear group all determinants will be one these are the inverses and it's not a billion two okay neither the general linear group or the special linear group are a billion and we did not get uh, still i have some other videos but probably i will erase them and, and change them this is dihedral group okay but we did not get into this we will get into this uh, later